Well, it's a quiet and cold night in the Mid Ohio Valley. We're just a bit above freezing, but uh, no really threat, no great threat that is of any precipitation tonight. When we take a look at our radar satellite composite, we can see the green echoes turning over to white and some salmon mixed in there as well, indicating a freezing condition. But this is reading higher in the atmosphere, not at the surface where it's just too warm for any accumulation. So I wouldn't worry too much at this point. The Highmark West Virginia Skycam says we're at 38. It feels like 33 due to the wind chill, the winds out of the north, West that make that west northwest at six. The relative humidity is 65%. Now the pressure, 30.25 inches, is somewhat steady. When we look at our uh, current temperatures, we have 40 in Charleston, 39 in Columbus and Athens, 38 in Parkersburg, 40 up in Toledo, 40 in Cincinnati. So there's not a great deal of variety here. The breeze generally from the northwest, maybe three to six miles per hour, and we're one degree above or one degree below where we were last night at the same time. So uh, pretty much carbon copy weather, if you will. Taking a look at our most recent radar echoes, most of the echoes are turning over to white or slightly shaded purple as they head up towards Spencer or Sand Fork on their way up to the highest elevations where the ski resorts are located and many of those have already tried to open at this point. When we look at the big picture, high pressure is dominating. There's nothing really bearing down on us and the rotation around this high is pulling down that northwest breeze just enough to keep us refrigerated, but not terribly so, not below freezing by uh, more than a degree or two tonight. Futurecast suggests we'll see the clouds dissipate, generally clear conditions as we go through the overnight, and then Thursday morning, some cloud cover. When that moves off, we'll have bright sunshine through the course of the day as that's clearing, and it will lift the spirits, and it'll be a better day to get out and about and run any errands. As we get into Friday, a little bit of milky clouds once more, but nothing bearing down on us in the short term. So the forecast suggests that we are going to get down to freezing, mostly cloudy conditions this evening. As we get into tomorrow, 51 for the high with some clearing skies. So uh, nothing is going to stick around even if it falls in the higher elevations. When we look at the seven day forecast, we'll be up above freezing for the overnights after tonight. And for the next couple of days, we'll have highs that'll approach the 60 degree mark. Saturday has a 50 50 chance of showers in the evening. And then the next disturbance comes through and it could be quite breezy and a near 100% chance of precipitation as the cold air filters behind it, it drops us below freezing. And then the next several days, more seasonable temperatures.